Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here today in this video we'll be taking a look at the biggest update of WinLater Android the WinLater official version 7.0 which was just released few hours ago I'll be showing you guys its setup best settings and gameplay right here on the official github page of WinLater Android we have the version 7.0 change log but before going through it if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as I'll keep you guys up to date with the latest WinLater updates and the biggest change in this WinLater version is the WoW 64 mode which which has been finally added. If you guys don't already know, WoW 64 adds the support for Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processors and also provides you with greater FPS than the normal uh, versions of Wine. You guys will be able to read updated Wine finally. It won't be using the 8.0.2 version of Wine. Updated Box 86 slash Box 64, updated Turnip drivers, Virgil drivers as well as Zinc drivers, X input stability, input controls have been improved, improved task manager and also container settings. In this update, new GPU versions have been added including wow 64 mode vkd 3d has been added and yeah fixed resident evil file lost planet etc performance improvements and other fixes so right here is the win later android but before we get started let me clear storage because we'll be setting it up from scratch. So once you open WinLater 7.0 for the first time, it will start setting it up. And I always recommend you guys uh, to clear data of the previous versions of WinLater before starting with the new versions. And here's our today's Google Play Store gift card redeem code giveaway which I'm doing on my channel. If you also want to win these gift cards, then make sure to be first on my videos. For that, subscribe and turn on all notifications. Let's get back to the video. There we go. Now we are all set to using the WinLater 7.0. If we tap on settings, you guys can see that the Wine version has been finally updated to Wine 9.2 stable version. It includes WoW 64 as well. I'll show that to you guys later on in today's video. And in terms of Box 86 version, you guys will be able to see the latest versions are now set as the default Box 86 and Box 64 versions. In terms of presets, as you guys know, you can create custom presets. But today we'll be going with the performance preset. Anyways, once that has been done, let's just go ahead and create a brand new container specifically based on testing out some windows games on android so container name let it be default in terms of screen size make sure to use 960 by 544p in terms of graphics drivers you can't really customize the drivers now so you are stuck with the default graphics driver nonetheless for turnip drivers make sure to choose dx wrapper as dxvk and for today's video we'll be using the 1.10.3 default version now the developer has removed all the unnecessary dxvk versions and provided us with the three most useful versions 1.10.3 0.96 and 2.3.1 now 0.96 will work the best for games that are stuck in loading screen for example old games like just cause 2 gta vice city etc 1.10.3 is universal it can be used for many games including cyberpunk gta god of war and much more 2.3.1 should be used for the latest uh, pc games with direct text 12 anyways we'll be going with 1.10.3 frame rate keep it at default max memory also default once that has been done, enable show FPS and select audio driver as pulse audio. Now let's scroll down, right here you will notice the biggest change. You get original GPUs now uh, to choose from. For example, you get all the way from NVIDIA Riva 128 to Intel Graphics UHD 630. So you can select your own graphics card now. You also can choose uh, Radeon Graphics as well, which is pretty amazing. But for today's video, uh, I'll be going with RTX 3070. No, I'm just joking. Uh, we'll be using GTX 1070 as our graphic card. And in terms of video memory size, we'll set it to 4 GB. Once that has been done, let's check out some other options. Go to environment variables and here mesa shader catch max you can increase it will increase it to 2048 and keep everything else default in terms of advanced you will be able to see now uh, we have separate affinities for 32 bit apps now i'll turn on the cpu 1 to cpu 7 options uh, because i have a snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor if you have any other snapdragon processor make sure to tick mark all of them Anyways, uh, experimental WoW 64 has been enabled including stop services on startup, performance preset will be used. So let's create this brand new container, lot of customization options are now enabled. With that being said, let's start up this brand new container and see how well does it actually work. By the way, I have just uh, improved my camera setup. I am actually filming this video with my iPhone 15 Pro Max instead of my Sony camera. So let me know if you guys like this wide angle view or my regular videos. Anyways, there we go. The container has successfully started. 
uh, and I have uh, enabled the full screen mode. Now 960 by 544 Pre is pretty amazing resolution. Uh, it is in 16 is to 9 and it will showcase everything clearly. So let's tap on the start option and uh, go to system tools. Afterwards make sure to set up Wine Mono as well as Wine Gecko as it can affect the uh, compatibility of few games. Alright guys once Wine Mono has been set up by the way it may take good amount of time depending on your internet connection and device. We'll just go ahead and restart our container and afterwards we'll proceed to set up the latest Visual C++ drivers to add compatibility for newer games. Adding these drivers will help you with compatibility of few games so make sure to add them. Once that has been done, now we are successfully all set with creating the container for WinLater Android. Now we can directly start testing out some games for our today's video. But I won't be testing out GTA 5, I'll be making a dedicated separate video testing GTA 5 on the WinLater 7.0 official update so be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification for that video. Anyways for today's video let's start with PAL world and let's take a look at the input controls as well. Ok the RTS controls seems the same. Let's go to a virtual gamepad and see if there are any changes. Alright, I do notice this button which may be present before, I am not really sure. And let's open task manager. You guys will be able to see the logo for apps now uh, which are running inside the win later, which is a pretty cool feature. Nonetheless, as you guys can see, PAL world is about to start. Uh, at the top left corner, we are seeing 0 FPS. And there we go guys, PAL world has successfully started. Let's just go ahead and tap on the cross button. And for some reason, the FPS bar just decided to disappear. Uh, that's pretty bummer but I am noticing one thing it's super smooth like the gameplay experience is super smooth let's just go ahead and create a new world uh, the loading time is also pretty fast so a great competitor to horizon windows emulator now that it has been updated so if you guys want me to compare the win later 7.0 with horizon emulator let's hit 200 likes on today's video and let's just go ahead and start our new game alright let's tap on the yes button now we'll be able to see PAL world is one of the most unoptimized games to emulate on a windows emulator for android and as you guys can see it has successfully started this is the beginning cutscene of PAL world and just take a look at it it's pretty smooth i would say we are getting anywhere from 15 to 30 fps but this is just a cutscene uh, the actual results may vary once the game actually starts and there we go guys our game has successfully started and once again as i mentioned previously uh, this game is very unoptimized that's why we are not really seeing good amount of fps and now uh, i think we can now scroll at the top right corner instead of pressing the arrow keys which is a bit more complicated i guess Nonetheless, let's hold the W key and you will be able to see that the game is actually working. Now, we will be only able to find out the original gameplay result once we test out GTA 5. You can't really play PAL world on your Android devices yet because it is just very unoptimized. Even inside the Horizon emulator, you just get like 5 to 6 FPS and just take a look at how much my device is lagging. Which means that it's the fault of my Android device. You will be able to see the CPU is, uh, I mean it's not being bottlenecked but still as you will be able to see the device is getting pretty laggy and one thing which I can notice, the device isn't getting hot unlike horizon emulator where your device will overheat uh, once you start playing any games, my device is lukewarm so that's the pros of win later android. Anyways guys, I'll see you guys in my GTA gameplay test, thanks for watching, goodbye.